Welcome to our video on plantar fibromatosis, also known as lederhose disease. This condition is a benign tumor of the foot's plantar fascia, characterized by myofibroblast and collagen proliferation, often presenting in elderly patients. Plantar fibromatosis typically manifests as subcutaneous thickening or nodules in the foot. Diagnosis involves a combination of physical examination and MRI studies, with treatment options varying based on symptom severity. The epidemiology of plantar fibromatosis shows it as the most common soft tissue neoplasm in the foot. It is more prevalent in males, usually affecting middle-aged or elderly individuals, but can occur at any age. Welcome to our video on plantar fibromatosis, also known as lederhose disease. This condition is a benign tumor of the foot's plantar fascia, characterized by myofibroblast and collagen proliferation, often presenting in elderly patients. The pathophysiology of plantar fibromatosis occurs in three phases, proliferative, involutional, and residual. Each phase is characterized by different levels of fibroblast activity and collagen maturation, leading to nodule formation. Unlike Dupuytren's disease, the genetic basis of plantar fibromatosis remains unclear. However, it is associated with conditions like Dupuytren's and Peyronie's disease occurring in a significant percentage of patients. The plantar fascia affected in plantar fibromatosis consists of three bands, central, medial, and lateral. The medial band is most commonly involved, originating from the calcaneus and dividing into digital slips. Symptoms of plantar fibromatosis are usually asymptomatic but can become painful. Physical examination may reveal subcutaneous thickening or nodules, often on the medial aspect of the plantar foot. Imaging studies for plantar fibromatosis include radiographs and MRI. Radiographs typically appear normal, while MRI is the preferred method, showing nodular thickenings with specific signal intensities. Ultrasound findings in plantar fibromatosis reveal multiple lesions on the plantar fascia. The comb sign is a characteristic feature representing alternating bands of echogenicity relative to the plantar fascia. Histological examination of plantar fibromatosis shows dense fibrocellular tissue with mature collagen and fibrocytes. There are no atypical features or abnormal mitotic activity distinguishing it from malignant conditions. Differential diagnoses for plantar fibromatosis include post-traumatic neuroma, fibrosarcoma, and clear cell sarcoma. Accurate diagnosis is crucial for appropriate management and treatment planning. Non-operative treatment for plantar fibromatosis involves observation and supportive therapy. This is indicated for small or minimally painful lesions, utilizing NSAIDs, orthotics, physical therapy, and corticosteroid injections. Operative treatment for plantar fibromatosis includes excision with or without radiation. Indications for surgery are large, painful, or activity-limiting lesions, with techniques varying based on recurrence risk. Excision techniques for plantar fibromatosis range from local to total fasciectomy. Total fasciectomy is preferred due to lower recurrence rates, although it may require skin grafting in some cases. Complications from surgical treatment of plantar fibromatosis include skin necrosis, nerve entrapment, and loss of arch height. Postoperative radiation may be considered to minimize recurrence. Recurrence of plantar fibromatosis is common occurring in 60% of excised lesions. It often recurs as a more aggressive lesion with risk factors including bilateral disease and multiple nodules. Prevention of recurrence in plantar fibromatosis can involve adjuvant radiation therapy. This approach aims to reduce the likelihood of aggressive lesion recurrence after surgical excision. The prognosis for plantar fibromatosis is generally favorable, with malignant transformation being rare. However, the high rate of recurrence necessitates careful monitoring and management. Plantar fibromatosis, a complex condition requiring a multidisciplinary approach for effective management. Understanding its phases, risk factors, and treatment options is crucial for optimal patient outcomes. In summary, plantar fibromatosis is a benign yet challenging condition. Early diagnosis and appropriate treatment can significantly improve quality of life for affected individuals, minimizing pain and functional limitations. 
Thank you for watching our video on plantar fibromatosis. We hope this information has been helpful in understanding the condition and its management. Stay informed and take care of your health.